split it. I want to have that. Okay. Today, what? Uh, today, uh, today we're in Mahiwal. I got John here from Tesoro, from up the north. Uh, come down and check out the Rad Pad Village. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, it's so awesome. We had breakfast here at Juanita's. Juanita's, if you haven't been to Juanita's, what do you think? Oh, uh, it's perfect little typical breakfast. You know, yeah. gallo pinto, eggs. Yeah. Good coffee. Good coffee. Excellent. With probably hot probably, milk, man. Probably the best breakfast I've had in at least a week. Wow. That's I'm pretty in. good. I'm Me back. too, man. Me too. I eat here every morning. <laughs> He's a regular. Yeah, and it's the best every time. All right, so we're going to cruise over to, um, well, this is no longer called Mahiwal Beach. We talked about that. Right. I said come down to Mahiwal Beach. Yeah, last time I was here, Mahiwal was the other beach. Right. But now this is Mahiwal. Yeah. Both I've awesome. I've just changed the name again. People will be angry. If you're angry about that, put that in the comments for me. I appreciate the engagement. We're going to go check out. Uh, come to Nicaragua here. and name your own beach. Name your own beach. It's easy to do. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. All right, John, this is, um, well, it's Ubuntu is the development, and this is the commercial area that we're developing for them first. Fantastic. So what we've done is we've placed a bunch of rad pads here, and local businesses are basically, uh, they purchase them, wow. and then they lease them out. Wow. So Great we've got a, got a restaurant going in here, we've got a brewery going in there, a wine shop, an ice cream shop, and a few more, a massage parlor, awesome. and a... Um, uh, candle company, a candle company that wants to save the turtles. Nice. Yeah. Probably make a nice scent. Yeah. And they, they will make a nice scent. It'll be <laughs> fantastic. So they're going to be making candles, and when you buy it, buy candles, a oh, portion I of them see go that being popular. Oh my to god. To paying the turtle hunters. Oh my god. And buying them and have a little, you know. I'll take. I'll take a dozen. Yeah. I'll take, aren't they by the dozen? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Eggs. No, no, not the eggs. I mean the candles. Oh, the candles. <laughs> Save a dozen yeah, turtles eggs. right there, too. <laughs> no, I don't I want like, the no, eggs. No, the eggs are Let's not for Let's be clear. Sale. I don't want the eggs. Yeah, the eggs are they're purchased <laughs> from the turtle hunters, <laughs> put into the ground, wait to harvest, then release. Right. Yeah, so cool candle company. Yes. I like it. A social enterprise. Yeah. yeah. Nicaragua needs more of that. Yeah, definitely. Y young entrepreneurs. So what I wanted to show you today was kind of this model that um, uh, can be repeated all throughout Nicaragua. Nicaragua is such an amazing place. Oh, tell and, me about it. Great. And the, like, the upside of Nicaragua is phenomenal. It's right? that's that's everybody comes here and they can't believe the potential like in every field. Right. And obviously the biggest one is you kind of on the beach stuff, but like tourism, everything like the yeah. potential and everything is insane. So you back in Canada have a big development background, right? Well, yeah, I'm a, a we do painting, waterproofing, and restoration. My, my company for like 34 years. Right. Yeah, with my brother and I. So in Canada, when you got an idea and you see an opportunity, there's quite often quite for good reason, a bunch of red tape that you right. gotta get through. Yeah. And it's challenging to do, you know? So in Nicaragua, when you see an opportunity, yeah, there's red tape that you gotta get through, but it's it's not as challenging, I've seen. Yeah. People can actually come here and make their dreams come true. Yeah, I mean, it has different challenges, right? Like, you know, in Canada, you got the bureaucracy, but, you know, and it takes longer to do stuff, it's quicker here, but there's, there's frustrations, like you can't take your, your lifestyle from Canada to America and just expect the same sort of, you know, quickness and da da da. da. Right. But there is like amazing opportunities if you're willing to work. Yeah. You, you can, you know, do everything. They need deliveries services. They need anything really. Really anything. Yeah, lots and of that's like with this business park on the beach that we're doing is basically like what will go there? Anything. Yeah. <laughs> like literally whatever it's you like want. It's like build do. it and they will come. And that's how yeah. this country is. If you build it and you and you let people know, they will come. Absolutely. It's crazy. Yeah. You want to check out one? Yeah, I would love to. This is All super right. cool. All Let's right, do so it. here we are at um, a rad pad on the beach. This one's set up kind of as like an Airbnb or a second bedroom or something. Awesome. So the way we've talked a bit about it, but the, the manufacturing of the building is one of the challenges here. Yeah. Because like in Canada, you know, we talked a bit about red tape and you can get professionals that can execute drawings and it'll come out how it was drawn. Right. And there's inspectors to check That's all the way That's definitely one of the challenges here, kind of getting it to, to code or to spec the way you right. want it, right? Right. So you can make a great drawing and then you go to get a build and you're like, well, this looks quite a bit different than my yeah, drawing. Yeah, often a lot of improv once, right. you, once you're on site. Like, improv, I like that. Yeah, yeah and improv sure. can be good and it can be bad. Yeah. Weather plays a big role in that too. Yep. Like environment, weather. Yeah. Just learning, learning. Like we were learning. just talking about level. 
Level right. is, uh, Level. you know. I, what is that in Espanol? Neville? <laughs> Neville? Nivel. I don't know. Nivel. I think I'm right. I don't know, but it's, uh, you know, North America, we like everything level and true, and yeah. it's, it's so, a, sometimes a challenge. So yeah, materials are a challenge, and then putting things together is a challenge. So uh, what we've done at Radpad is, yeah, this is... Um, solid. Holy. Solid, super solid. So this is recycled plastic. That's I a material. It. Pretty um, good looking too, hey? Yeah, man, it's got the barnwood kind of look to Hell it. Hell yeah, I like that. Yeah, beachy, super sweet. So we've taken this and we make panels, a company called Table Co. here, they're a social enterprise. They kind of collect bottles and uh, then they give back tables and chairs to school kids all around. Oh wow, awesome. Yeah, super cool. So they're actually a partner of Radpad and they supply us with this material. And then the other thing we use is galvanized steel, um, this three by three. So one of the reasons that a Radpad looks the way you draw it is because it's all modular. Right. So this, this wall panel is basically a panel and you put as many panels as you want together in whatever shape or format you want. Love it. They put it together and it looks like whatever you drew. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, pretty big into the recycled plastic, the metal, love glass, love aluminum. Um, nice screens, keep the bugs out. Definitely. Bug proof is a big thing. Yeah. Nice yeah. big overhang, keep yeah. the, the shade and the rain off. Drainage is super important in Nicaragua. Yeah. So we have big six inch soffits and four oh, you inch got, downspouts. You got, you got the gutters, eh? Yeah. Big gutters. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, definitely. Let's check out the inside. I'd, or no, you got, what do you got? No, I was just, I was just gonna say, I, I would live here. Yeah, I do. I, I, che <laughs> I cheated and I already looked. Yeah. All right, let's have a second look. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things that we do in a rad pad is the door. The door is something you use so many times over and over and over yep. that we found being so close to the ocean or just in, in general in Nicaragua. Takes a beating, eh? Definitely. And wood seems to expand yeah, and contract. Yeah. I have door, wood, wood doors in my place and, yeah. you know, I don't know, maybe eight, ten years old and I got to replace them. Yeah. They don't quite... They don't quite they open cool, or close, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So we've decided to use commercial doors. Uh, we also use a slider door. Yeah. It's pretty industrial, the yeah. one that we do. Totally. So in here, um, you know, the, the smallest rad pad we make is called the uh, micro rad. And that is like as small as you can get. Is, is that a, ma is that a That's micro? That's a micro rad yeah. out there. Yeah. So it's like a bed, a uh, toilet and sink right. inside and then outside shower and entrance, yeah. and, and just some storage under the bed, right. so you can put your suitcase in there. It's got good height, I mean, you could, that's def, I mean, the height's awesome. That's one of the things that helps with the heat. Yeah. Because when the roof is closer that's to you, great... you start to get hot. Yeah. So we went ahead and made all the rad pads are three meters tall. It feels super airy. Definitely. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, so that's another thing, the airy that you mentioned is with, uh, well, these, uh, you can't get any more air than a uh, screen. No, it's super comfy, like it's a yeah. hot day. Yeah. And we were, I was way hotter having breakfast than I am currently. Yes. Like, I'm super comfy. It's, yeah, it's definitely. Great. This window behind you here is uh, called a louver window. Yep. Uh, we use those because when they when they open up like that, they give you 100% of your real estate is open. Right. Whereas sure. if you have a slider, you're working with 50% or so. Totally. Yeah. So those seem to work really well for us. You can even... Uh, angle them down then it kind of shades a bit too right shades a bit makes a little more privacy when you do shut them uh they go full private have you tried this with a different material yes like i, I have on my home um I have, I'm, in canada i have uh, wood slats like Ooh. wood, wood louvers yeah. beautiful one side of my back deck is close to the neighbor so i can just low like get the sun yeah. and then close them yeah Nice. Super happy with that. Yeah, totally happy to try all sorts of materials. Yeah, I bet, yeah. So far we've done the reflective glass. Right, so that, like yeah, that looks super cool. It looks pretty there. cool. Yeah. Uh, we've done the jet black tinted glass. I kind of like that too. Yeah. Uh, and then this one That's I like. That's like the 007 unit, right? It is, dude. Yeah. It's like super sneaky out in the jungle there. It's gotta be. Yeah. And then these ones here, I like, I like them because you don't have to clean them really ever. Yeah. It's like a sea glass. Yeah, and yeah. Kinda being like... close to the sea, you get a film on the glass. Right. So it's kind of like, well, there's yeah, a film to... on the glass. Exactly. <laughs> Comes like that. Yeah, totally. I love all the power outlets everywhere too, hey? Yes. You know, you know with the power USB. too, check it out with it, like the plastic casing, you know, and, and the readily available yep. everything. Yep. It's like in Nicaragua, if you want North American stuff, it's going to break. Just right. Is, you know? 
So we really did a lot of looking for what are Nicaraguans using in their buildings. Yeah, but I mean, this is yep. North American, like this outlet, like it's not like a European outlet. This is a North American outlet. So for sure, your iPhone or whatever fits in these perfectly. Yeah. And you got the USB here. Yeah. What's this? More USBs? Yeah, we well we do video, right? So right. I have to charge a bunch of microphones and stuff. Yeah, so that's what time. people want. Yeah. You know? Basically USBs and plugs so you can get your computer in there and you can get your iPhone and your iWatch or whatever it can is. Can you can you, you put AC in here? You can definitely do an AC unit for sure. Yeah. We went with all screens and it's just so so yeah. much airflow and shade here. Honestly, I don't think you need it, but I just thought I'd ask. You could definitely do it for yeah. sure, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean this is comfy. I mean yeah, and this whole unit that we're in right here, yeah, like, is it goes completely everything. Foundation, uh, the roof, you know, it's got four inch. Well, this four is inch this is ideal roof. for like, I want one of these for Tesoro. Yeah, I think you should have one. Yeah, I should have a few. Yeah, but uh, just somewhere to sit down and say. Oh, this would make a this great office for us. That's what uh, the first one of the things yeah. I want is an office. Even he's, he's been trying to buy an office from me for like. It's the hardest guy to buy anything. He's yeah, so I just damn... won't. I won't sell him an office. It's ridiculous. <laughs> give me a damn office. Yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do is give him a whole, uh, whole damn resort. Yeah, give me a village instead. <laughs> <laughs> I came for an office and left for the village. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to check out some more stuff outside? Yeah, yeah, totally. Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right, so this one is the commercial version of the micro rad. Okay. So the micro rad, what we talked about earlier, is our smallest it's unit. It's like your base unit. Base this base unit. Right. So it's got a sweet full full size bed or a uh, bunk bed inside. Sweet. And then it'll have a, a toilet and sink and then an outdoor shower. Right. And that's the micro rad, which is like hostel or like hotel right. type of layout. Tiny Airbnb kind of Tiny one. Airbnb. And then you, um, like you got that one, that one's got like a full kind of kitchen, right? That's a full kitchen. That's your, that's your, that's your kitchen. Yeah. For the zone. Yeah, if you want to set up a set up a you know a system, village, yeah. a village, totally. You're gonna to need a commercial kitchen with a uh, madre de casa, somebody to make sure the food's going right. And Hell yeah. Stuff coming in and out. That's Which isn't important. hard to do with the great food here. No, no, definitely not. So yeah, you're gonna need your kitchen, and then you're gonna need your washroom area. You know, like right. your full shower spa type vibe. Yeah. That's how I like it to be. But in each micro rad, you can have your own uh, toilet wash. Um, uh, hand wash and your shower. Right. So this one's set up as a commercial. This one's specifically made for what every beach club needs is a wine shop. Yeah. So why not? This is the wine shop. This is going to be the wine shop. This, this. Yeah. So slider doors open both ways, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they they have those in Canada. Uh, actually, they do, and do I really I really like them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan. I just put one in my house. Oh, sweet. I love yeah. it. So this one's got like the kind of outdoor deck, little area, so it looks like a store. And inside here, oh, I love the inside. I love the smell. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. That, that's a Cedro Macho or something like that? The actual type of wood? Yeah. Caoba. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caoba on the walls. Super hardwood. Yeah. And then teak on the floor. Oh, teak, yeah. Yeah. That's what they wanted, so that's what we did. Yeah, teak is awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like a sauna. Yeah. The smell in here. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can shut the door. And, and it would be a sauna. It will be a <laughs> sauna in no time. But it's made this way specifically so they, they can control the temperature because right. the wine has to be of whatever temperature they need it. Good thing so it's going to be shelves all the way around with just bottles of wine from top to bottom, little um, library ladders so you can like get up there and Wicked. get your wine. Wicked. It's gonna be, can you imagine how awesomely comfortable this is going to be? Dude, this whole killer experience. Great vision. Yeah, I love killer it. experience. And you can build it so fast too, right? Yeah. Like this frame right here that we're in. Like the frame itself uh -huh. from factory to put it here to set it up is like two hours. Right. Yeah. That's insane. The panels going in when you're using the recycled plastic that our company manufactures, the panel fits in. It's four bolts. You know, so it's like boom. Even just using boom. recycled stuff is, is great. Yeah. You know, what so do much, you do with this stuff? Yeah, there's so much right? plastic. It's Yeah, uh, there's so much. It's, it's rough. Even like in Canada, they, they burn a lot of this stuff. They pretend they don't, but they incinerate a lot of the plastics. Yeah. Crazy man. Farm it off to some poor country. So I think we found a way of using them and yeah. I'm stoked because the product, like it works so well. In Nicaragua, Nicaragua wants to eat everything. Like it's an ecosystem that's, it's an e eating system. If it moves, <laughs> you can eat it? Yeah, it just wants to eat everything. So wood, all that sort of stuff. I was thinking about eating you, but I, I thought, you know, we gotta do the video and stuff. So it gets I won't a little it. weird. It is a little, yeah, it's a little weird. That's strange. Yeah, just to, to mention that really. I'd have to eat both of you. <laughs> that would be tough. I don't know how comfortable I am right now. Yeah, numbers. So I've become less comfortable. I think I'll pass on that. Right. Next okay. time. Yeah. I'm thinking second about setting this village up there in the middle of nowhere up there. 
Like on the yeah yeah on a Hannibal 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 Island Hannibal Park. Oh no, <laughs> changing the subject. So yeah, this is the micro rad. It's yeah. definitely going to be super sick, and and the price point on these things is just insane because like with the you know with the septic with the you know the whole thing being able to find something, not only like if you heard it was under twenty grand, it'd be like wow that's pretty amazing, but then under ten grand, it's like what? Uh, yeah, I mean and the speed like, that's. The speed, the, the speed, man, yeah. and then seeing the price point get below ten grand for yeah. a something that can an create enclosed, revenue, yeah, an enclosed unit, yeah, boom, and it, and you know with the recycled plastic, it's like it's it's turnkey, super fast, and then you don't really have much to worry about. Well, actually, that's interesting. Like turn, it's everything's kind of going turnkey. Like I don't know, fifteen years ago, people just wanted a lot and then just kind of sit on it and speculate, blah blah blah. But now there's definitely a movement to turnkey. You know. Yeah. They want to get in it, use it, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, this is like, these could be like a cottage home or it yeah. could be your primary, whatever. It's so Supplementary flexible. income after. Supplementary, yeah. yeah. The uh, Costa Rica market has been hounding me about these to pop up on their properties while they build their house. Right, little construction houses. Because there is, like I, you know, like I tried to identify what's the biggest problem in Central America. And to me and Radpad, we believe the the I believe too, man. Is, is in the construction of homes. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's it's tough, man. Even yeah. just like everything is in a remote, like well, the beaches are all in like often semi remote or whatever. Right. So rad, rad locations. Yeah, great, awesome yeah. locations, but yeah. sometimes it's tough to get materials. Yeah, absolutely. Cleanly in. All right, so let's see if we all can right. make this happen what, up north, man. What, what do you got? <laughs> what do you got next for me here? Well. I don't know, let's take a look at the beach. I think people want to see the beach. Oh, Have they, a look who at the beach. Want to see the beach. I want it. Something I think worth talking about in Nicaragua is like, so I've been here four years now. How long have you been? Um, geez, I guess 16 years, something like that, coming and going. <laughs> right. I 16. lived here for three years in Managua. Yeah. And then been coming and going ever since. Right. And you, I mean, your experience is awesome. So when you get here and you're like wow opportunity 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 I, I, my brain exploded yeah, sometimes you have to keep your hands yeah in because there's just too much in the vehicle keep exactly. your hands in the vehicle yeah because go like, for a ride yeah. oh do this da, 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 da. so you yeah. got to kind of just try and stay focused is a little bit of a challenge here totally and in my four years which is obviously 16 for totally i'm a young pup here in the game but i've stuck my hand out of the car and i've grabbed a couple times and done some opportunities yep. and got slapped you know a little bit because I thought I could do it you know right. and then I learned oh there's a process to it behind there it that I need to learn so now I've had my hand slapped enough where I'm now you know really looking at what what is it that needs where's the problem that needs to be solved yeah and can it be solved yeah you know is it even possible and now for somebody so somebody wants to come down and like you know build a house you've right. talked about titles yep that's a yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. but it's so cheap. You know, can Damn, be, can spanked. Be, can yeah, be. can be. But now you've figured it out. So for somebody to come down, and if they can link up with somebody that's figured it out a little bit, you can almost stand on the shoulders and then say, oh, I want to do that. Well, it's funny, you know, people come here and they don't like necessarily ask for help sometimes. Right. And because they're like, oh, well, I got this deal on blah, blah, blah. And they go out and do it in kind of quiet like. Yeah. And it's, I think it's really stupid because if you just ask a few people, it's not like they're going to steal whatever your venture is. Yeah. You know, you want to buy some land and build a coconut house up in the hills or whatever. It's better to ask people like, hey, man, what do you think? Bounce ideas than just to kind of do the maverick thing because uh, it's got its own ebb and flow here, you know? I found it really hard with people that are in the groove, like I'm in my groove, you're in your groove, right. to pull us out of our grooves. Like you could come to me and be like, oh, I got coconut trees, score of the million, you yeah. know, it's amazing. We're going to export and we got all this. Yeah, or and I'm like, I've been offered an avocado farm and avocado is right. good business. I'm da, 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 sure. da. And there's all these, blah, I'm like, no. Yeah. I'm in my groove. Yeah. And like I'm in there. So to pull me out of it, it would be pretty hard to do. So I found when people come to me with their ideas, it's like, dude, there's no, first of all, there's no word. Nobody's going to steal your idea because anybody who could knows how much work it is to develop that avocado Well, that's the value. That's the value. That. I mean, you can get an avocado thing, but to get it all the way to turn a profit and being sold in North America or wherever your end market whatever is. Whatever your idea is. It's, it's a process. So it's yeah. not like people can just jump in and go, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it yeah. too. It's, you know, But I can help ride. you, and I'd love to help you. I'd like to live through that experience a bit with you're you actually, you're, while well, I'm honestly, on Honestly, that's your rock. strength. You you're, 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 you kind of look at the bigger picture on stuff and, and you know, want to help people because... When you go at it by yourself here, it can be daunting, you know? Right. Like, like here's, here's the old me, okay? 
the old me back in the day right would be like come up to your place fucking what's this surf spot what's this why is this decrepit thing oh my god i get it i know what it is let me get the guys ready i'll get the money hey yo, what about that crappy house john yeah want to sell it to me yeah, i'll buy it whatever here's you know yeah. 40 grand cool yeah then fucking i'll do a business and i'll start selling the five percent and make millions of dollars yeah and i found that will come back to bite me in the yeah. karma ass yeah some way yeah so like dude you're already doing something you got this gem right here, man. That surf thing Thank is you. like, bam, you got it. Um, I got this thing where I can build these houses quick and this marketing thing. I think that's why we get along so good, man. Symbiotic, yeah. dude. I'm not getting out of my rut to yeah. go do your thing. Yeah. You're like, our rut's kind of in the same rut. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's like, you know. Track, rather than you, you want to At a certain point, you want to share and get just stuff done because it's, it's tough to get stuff done. Yeah. It really is, man. Like, yeah. all the stuff you've done and some, the stuff I've done, like, you come, you've, come a long ways man yeah it's been a you know and it's a journey and so I'm, you know we just met but I'm, I'm i'm pretty proud of like what you've done too you know like it's yeah. it's great to see because it's i know how tough it can be dude when i showed and up you, to you, your you, place you push the ball forward like just like i push the ball steady yeah. and i can i know you push the ball hard too and it's it's a lot of energy it's a lot of work and you know pat you on the back man thanks bro yeah yeah thank you yeah I can't help but feel the same way when we showed up out there and I was like on the road and I'm like, oh, first thing I did when I got to this place was like, I got to go back out to where I came from to get those landmarks yeah. to know the real distance. Cause my brain plays tricks on me, yeah. you know, oh, it's all, and no, I got to go and do it again. And, thank, and thanks again. for that, uh, uh, that footage of me with no shirt on too. Yeah, it was priceless. You could have given me five minutes. I could have done some pushups or something. Well, you could have come out there after doing some pushups, maybe with a shirt on. I know. Yeah. I thought I had another five or 10 minutes before. I, I talked to them. I'm like, yeah, all right, uh, architect, you know, MJ, guys, come out, this guy. Yeah, he's, he's got something. I don't know what it is, but he's something about him. He's got something then, then you see on. this fat bastard. We go out there and we see like Speedos or something on. I was in my You're underwear. Muddy, my underwear. My, yeah. Oh, my God. My, my uh, shorts got ripped or something, so I was in my underwear with yeah. no shirt. Yeah. I, was, I don't know how I'm going to talk this one out. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure this guy, we'll see. We'll yeah. see what we're in for. And it turned I, out to I, be amazing, I, bro. I'll have to check the yeah. uh, details of our agreement to see if you, you're, <laughs> you're able to process that footage. Oh, man. I don't know if I can process it in my head. I know. I think uh, I probably burned everybody's eyes. Point being, man, is like it takes a lot of work to get it done. It does. And when we saw, I mean, I've done the swimming pool thing. And when I saw, like, dude, you got pools and you know what? They're fucking clean. You know how hard it is to keep a clean pool in Nicaragua? It's hard, Yeah. you know? And then like stilts off the ground, you could see the evolution and it's like building stilts, there's so many different ways to do it. In Canada, it's so simple. You go buy the footing and you buy the sauna tube and you buy the rebar and it's all pre-made and you do it and it hold the whole, that's not how you do it here. Yeah. So I look at it and I go, oh man. A sauna tube would be a pretty good idea here. Oh, I think somebody imports, I wonder, nah, I don't. Yeah, it's like there's another else. business. Let's yeah. get into the sauna tube business. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. yeah. That's like with our panels. Yeah. We're like, oh, we're going to build panels. And then we're like, whoa, are we in the business of building panels or are we in the business of building rad pads? Exactly, yeah. Then we talk to the guy. Now he's the panel builder. He's the panel guy. Yeah, we pay him more for it. He makes more money. It's great. Yeah. Or he earns more money. Yeah. You know? Well, it's good. I mean, you're spreading it around. Like a lot of these communities are really poor. So, you know, you're also spreading the wealth around. Yeah. Making like little businesses here, businesses here. Building up, building the road up, building power to certain communities. Like we installed the power, 14 kilometers of power. Dude. So we lit up the whole area with power. There's no power, yeah. there was no road, and there was no water system. We built yeah. all that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's a lot of money and a lot of work and stuff, but I'm also like really proud of, of, of that, you know? Like we're here for the long run and it'll all work out great, but it's like, it's a shitload of work and yeah, money. Dude. I can't believe the power line, man. Yeah. Like the power line is like. Our power is wow. awesome. Yeah, the lightning like, like the quality storm of power and everything, too. and it was yeah. fine. It doesn't fluctuate. There's no spikes. No, it's, 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 it's like super solid. Like I, would, I would leave my laptop yeah. and go to the beach and then come back and not be worried, and that's not always the case. That's rare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, well, that's a beach talk here. I think we should just enjoy the beach for a minute. Yeah, man. If you're in Nicaragua, it's, it's all about the beaches. Son of a beaches. Son of a beach. That's a good time. We're calling that video Son of a Beach. <laughs> all right, adios, man.